Rain continues falling across Alabama tonight. The state emergency management agency keeping an eye on possible flooding areas. CBS 42 State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson in Clanton tonight with what they're doing there to keep you safe. Right now, things are pretty quiet at the state EMA office. The director tells me they're staying in close contact with local agencies to be able to assist in some of the most impacted areas. Regardless of whether this storm has moved left or right, sped up or slowed down, it's still a rain event that's going to be through the Wiregrass area of Alabama, up through Montgomery and towards Birmingham. State EMA Director Brian Hastings and his team has spent most of the day coordinating with other state agencies like the Department of Transportation. So we want to make sure that the roads are good, they're clear, where there's flooding, we keep people out of there. If things are washing away or there's a threat to those veins and arteries that we are made aware of them as soon as possible. Hastings says right now some of the most high risk flooding areas are in the southeast part of the state. Troy and Coffee County, Elba, Houston County, because that's really where we think some of the flooding threats are going to be today. Hastings says to expect more state troopers on the roads, accidents are likely to increase due to slippery roads. The biggest piece of advice that the state EMA is offering people is just to stay connected so you can have those up to the minute weather changes. Changes. Reporting from outside of the state EMA office, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.